Hey, this is World Series champion Johnny Damon. This is World Series champion Cliff Floyd. This is Kevin Newman of the Pittsburgh Pirates. This is a World Series champion Ozzy Guillen. This is Carlos Pena, 14-year MLB veteran. This is two-time NL MVP Dale Murphy of the Atlanta Braves. This is John Clowney, pitcher with the Arizona Diamondbacks. This is World Series champion Joe Musgrove. This is Jordan Luplo of the Cleveland Indians. This is Lance Coach Jimmy Houston Astros. This up is Dave Jones of the Buffalo Bills. It's Tyler Lockett of the Seattle Seahawks. This is Hunter Henry of the LA Chargers. This was Aiken Seiko. And when I'm not on the field catching bombs from Russell Wilson. When I'm not on the field catching bombs. When I'm not on the field catching bombs. When I'm not on the field hitting bombs. I'm watching my guys over at Filth Bomb, 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 Filth I know a thing or two about hitting some bombs, fellas, but there's nothing quite like hitting a filth bomb with my guys over at Filth Bomb Breaks. Filth Bomb! Filth Bomb! Mike Trout 101 Auto! MVP Breakers, MVP Prices. Keep those filth bombs coming, and I'll keep those World Series coming. Thanks for making baseball cards fun again. Thanks for making baseball cards fun again, guys. Go Bucks. Thanks for making collecting cards fun again for the kids and... For all of us old timers as well. The way to make baseball cards fun again, guys. Keep pulling those nasty filth bombs. And pull me a Jose Canseco Super Fractor. And hit me a West Coast Super Fractor. Go Astros. Please pull me a Duplani Super Fractor. How about you go pull me a Jordan Luplo Super Fractor? And now, introducing from New York. Opening packs at the speed of sound. Pulling filth out of cases tightly. The undefeated, undisputed champion of the sports card breaking industry, Filth Bomb It's time for Filth Bomb! What's going on, everyone? Stephen Michael here with Phil Bomb Race, coming to you live from the House of Wax right here in Long Island, New York, on September 25th, 2019. The time is 1.32 p.m. Eastern, and we're here for a four-case 2019 Heritage Minor League player break. This is going to be a marathon, guys. This is a base-heavy product. I got Fred here locked and loaded. Fred is ready. He got those fingers. We're doing finger exercises, getting ready to sort. And uh, we're going to get this thing on and popping for you guys. I'm going to try to make it as smooth as possible. There's going to be a lot of base. And we'll try to do all four cases. Oh, look. Wander's on the box. So nice. So nice. Mr. Wander. And an avalanche. Are there any boxes in here? Nope. Alright, so we're looking for one relic and one auto per case. Let's go. Nobody took the box topper spot. Alright, I see where your head's at. Let's yeah, see what... Uh, the trash pandas debut in this one. Trying to get me for the raccoon. Oh yeah, they have a trash panda? Yeah. <laughs> it is Nolan Gorman. Not autoed. That there. And then let's go. I kind of like how they did the box toppers. It's pretty cool. Now, it's going to be more than four hours, man. Each heritage is going to probably... Each case is probably going to take an hour and a half, I'm thinking. If it's anything like uh, heritage earlier this year. It's just a base-heavy product. So let's just cut to the chase because I do see something. There we go. That is Andres Jimenez. That is mint coin. Wow. That is number to 50. Going to the Jimenez spot. It's worth at least a quarter from, uh, from the look of things. Nice pull. Look at that. We're already pulling nastiness. Uh, what is this going to go in? Is this going to fit in here? Yeah. Nice pull. We're not even we're not even through the uh, packs yet. The yard goats. It's always good seeing these people's names. The Taurus. 
the Potomac Nationals. Look how long it takes just to open up a box, not even go through it. Whew. My arm's gonna be dead. All right, here we go. Good luck, everyone. You know what I need to do? Let's get some more room. All right, here we go. We are looking for auto. Oh, congratulations. Be a Rocket City Trash Panda. Fred's really going to try to be a Trash Panda. He's known for being Trash Pandas. Nice Andres Jimenez. Fresh on the scene. And there it is, Anthony Siegler with a little ink for the Pulaski Yankees. There's a nice auto. Really nice pull. He looks so young and so happy. He's going to be miserable. So let's see if there's any color. And Ryland Bannon, that's a nice pickup. That is number to 50. Some nice black Bannon action. Awesome. Awesome card. We are doing well on our first box of minor league. Who are these? Grant Levine. Victor Victor Mesa. Luis Garcia. Have we seen Timmy T? There he is right on kill, Timmy Tebow. Hands to his side. And another trash bags panda card. You ready to sort all this? You pumped? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jake McCarthy fresh off the scene. Honestly, I'm about to like not go through once we find the autos. Oh, but that's why you do. Peter Lambert, little blue action. That's the 99 for the Lambert spot. Nice color. Really nice. At least we could do it like organized by color. It'll be nice to do a recap. Four cases of this stuff. This is going to be brutal. Here's box number one in the books. Those of you who are new to Filth Bomb Breaks, take a look at the left side of your screen. You'll see last night's breakup because I forgot to take it down. But in three, in two, in one, you can now follow along with all the hits as we pull them one box at a time. Box one is in the books. Box two starts now. That was a nice, nice box to start it off. Andres Jimenez. I will, bud. I'll try my best. But if I go slow on this product, we're going to be here literally till tomorrow. Trevor Larnick. All right, box two. So nice color though came out. I love Rylan Bannon. So that's a great black Bannon. A uh, case of these retails for six fifty, I believe. Zach, the topper spot was a hundred bucks. 
but they are closed down. I'll try to find one, Will. <laughs> Look at you trying to find alphabets. Oh, Fred's in trouble early, guys. Fred's in real trouble. Because there's so many names. I know. You just got to look for the alphabet. All right, here we go. Miguel Amaya. Here, we'll go slow for one handful. See if we can... I saw like 12 Tomito Augustines. Whoever has him is crushing it. Alejandro Kirk. Let's keep going. Parker Meadows, another trash bag panda. Timmy Tebow, Luis Robert, Drew Waters, Alec Thomas, Jared Kalenic, Nolan Gorman, and oh, Seth Beer. That is a nasty Seth Beard in 99. Woo! That is a filth bomb. Beautiful looking card. Going to whoever won that mini. The Seth Beard mini. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. Woo! That is a nasty card. Wow. This stuff is so underrated. So underrated. There's a Miguel Amaya, Casey Golden. That is Jesus Lazardo to 99. Nice blue. There you go, Zach. So you gave me hell yesterday. You gave me hell yesterday because you got in the chrome. And you also got in the mini, didn't you? So there you go. We're even. That's a really nice card. That's the Jordan. Still, Tristan Casas, Seth Beer. There's the Wander. So I'm just gonna go slow this one box so we could see who everyone is. Bannon. I still haven't seen a Julio. That is Khalil Lee Clubhouse Collection Relic. So we get a Relic and a Auto per box. Like, can you do me a favor and grab me 100 points? We need a lot of them. Just get like a huge handful. There's a Julio Rodriguez right there. So that's what he looks like. Damn, my man William. William's trying to get a count on me. That's what he's doing. He's going to be like, I saw 18 of those. All right, so that's the end of box number two. Oh, uh, yeah, 108s. Now we're going to cruise along. That is David Lowe. Oh, Nate Lowe. His, his government name is David, if you were wondering. Thank you, bro. Oh, you came through in the clutch. So, so do like all the J players in one row, all the K players in one No, in one stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like one. Like all the L players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah all right, good, good. 
I was like, bro. <laughs> No way. No way. This is going to be a marathon. I'll tell you that. I go as fast as I can, but there's only... You can only go so fast in a product like this. We did really well, though. Look what came out of the first case. That is nastiness. Seth Beard at 99 and a Jimenez. Heritage Mint. No, I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. I'm going to have a whole stack of trash bag team player things. Tell Mito, he's in every pack. Tell Mito's in every pack. And that is Taylor Trammell. Black. Nice pull there to 50. A little damage on the bottom, but that's a nice pull. So this is the spot that was owned by somebody that got kicked out today. Because for the fifth time in the last two weeks, he took a spot and then said he had to back out. So that's actually a filth bomb. I feel like autos are coming up very soon. Auto's at. Here's the relic that is Dylan Cease to 99. Yeah, you hit a black Bannon non auto to 50, bud. Oh, please be an auto in here so I don't have to go through the whole thing. There it is. It is not an auto. Isaac Paredes. That is blue to 99. Please be an auto in this last pile. Guys, we're going to have such a long day if there's not an auto in here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. we're going back through. We're going back through. Did they just not give us an auto, maybe? Keep your eyes peeled. If you see it, let me know. Here, Fred, take this stack. We gotta try to find this auto. Oh, this is gonna be brutal. Imagine there is no auto though, and they just shorted us, and I'm going through the box 12 times. Oh, there it is. Jake McCarthy. Jake McCarthy on the ink. Woo! Thank goodness. Oh, uh, no. And that's the end of that box. There we go. Updating the filth cam. We're moving on to box number four. 
I was like, come on. So some of them are really hard to see. Remember, if it's an auto box topper, it goes to the spot, not to the box topper spot. Is that autoed? No way. No, it is not. Wow, that looks so real, though. That looks like the old Chipper Jones when you used to write the Chipper, and then he'd write back, and you thought it was really autoed, and then you found out when you went to JSA that it wasn't, and it was a stamp. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. How many people when they were younger used to write to players? Like, I mean, younger, younger, not like now. To try to just get ball players. I mean, like when you were a kid and you'd write to your favorite ball player. How many of you have ever done that and then got back stuff and you were super pumped? I remember only the trash players would write back to me, like Turk Wendell. He would always write back. He wrote back like four times with an auto. And you knew that was real. One second, guys. All right, let's go. I'm going to go fast still. And if we find it, if we miss it once in a while, that's what's going to happen. We'll go back. But it's not going to happen. I'm going to look for the autos. Like, specifically. I'm looking so hard right now. I'll tell you one thing, though. If I make my player debut, it's about to be a wrap. I'm going to be on the trash bags. <laughs> I'll be on the, on the Sacramento trash bags. And there it is, Ryland Bannon. Ryland Bannon with some ink. Nice pull there. Who'd you get? Jermaine O'Neal's. Wow. See, that's awesome. Eric Wedge. See, everyone has their story, right? I love that. Right, we're going to just skip through here because there's nada, unless it's numbered. And that is Matt Mercer, black, 250. So once you hit the auto, we could skip through because then anything else is going to be upside down. It'll just save us a lot of time. Trust me on this. So we'll just go like this. So we get to an upside down card or one of the trash bags. And then the relic will obviously be here. Here's a relic right there. That is Jesus Sanchez to 50. Jesus Sanchez to 50. Trying to make the stand for the first time in months. It's coming. It's coming. Be positive. We got a long, long day ahead of us, guys. So just be positive. It'll come. So those will be the black relics. These will be the blue relics. And that'll be the messed up beer. And this will be the normal relics. I swear that Talmito Augustine looks like Jordan. Here you go. 
How overwhelmed are you right now? Not yet, but... You're getting it? Good? We'll see. We'll see. No, I'm, I have a, a, them stacked now, too, but like... All right, good. Well, the thing is, at the beginning, it's going to be hard because you've never done it with... Yeah. Now you're going to know, yo, that's where the X is. That's Nico Horner. All right, let's go. Oh, man. John, be positive, bud. You sound like Manny Mush, Manny Machado. We're going to hit you something. Positive vibes. Guys, my advice, right, is always stay where the value's at. So check this out. Everyone's spending their money on Bowman Chrome. I get it. It's a hot product. Everybody likes it. But retail, this box right here, this case right here, rather, is less than half Bowman Chrome. And the same players are in it. Like, this is value to me. This is value to me. Like, if you want to go buy yourself a case, go do it. Like, it's awesome. I don't know if you want to buy four cases and open them up in the same day. But, let's go. I'm looking so hard for these autos. You guys have no idea. Nice Austin Riley. We got to go slow till we find the ink. Then we can speed up. Oh, Joey Bart. Look at that. Fresh on the scene. Fresh on the scene auto. Wow. What a nice pull that is for the Bart spot. Congratulations. That's a filth bomb. So fresh and so clean, clean. Now we can speed up a little until we find the back, the car that's upside down. Which should be there. That is Mitchell White. That is black to 50. And now we should either have another back, a card that's uh, upside down, or we're going to get to our relic. And here's our relic. That is Alex Kurilov, Clubhouse Collection, Base Relic. Very nice. And that's the end of that box. Here we go, Fred. Yes, there's real one autos in this, Wesley. And that's Bryce Terrain. That's cool looking. All right, let's go. Yo, Mitchell White had that big old glove, right? actually I found rhythm finally guys when I find rhythm we're good I found a little rhythm so now we know the autos at the top the numbered cards are in the middle and the relic is at the end so we could actually fly through it I like that
Now they fooled me because now there's a relic up top. That's so brutal. Oh, goodness. All right, here we go. And here's the relic. That's Evan White, Clubhouse Collection relic. Nice pull for the white spot. Guys, I feel like there's auto on every card right now. My eyes are bugging out. Come on. There it is. Alec Thomas. Alec Thomas, you called it, Wesley. Two box, two um, autos for you in the same case. Nice pull. Very nice pull. Steven Pena. That's hilarious. And that is Will Stewart. Not sure what's going on there. That must be an action short print. He's upside down for a reason. Something. It's probably a color swap. They're trying to tell us something. We just need to know what they're trying to tell us. And that's the end of that box. Here you go, Fred. All right, let's go, let's go. I wish I didn't have to open these box toppers, but some could be autoed. So I have to. Casas. All right. Let's see if this is back to the old setup or the new. Oh, I feel another coin. That was another coin. Who is it? Joe Adele Heritage Mint. That's a pretty sweet card right there. Wow. That's number to 99. Awesome pull for the Adele spot. Really nice. So these are like, are these common or are we just killing it? Which of the two? Whoever has Adele, awesome pull. Do you have Adele? John? Say you do, so you can get off the snide. You got rhythm, that's for sure. Bobby's hilarious. All right, so this is going to be set up the same way as the other one, so we'll know. The auto should be right around the first quarter. Those Heritage Mints are awesome, though. Can someone see the odds of a Heritage Mint? Can someone go see pack odds? Or I'll do it real quick. Pack odds, pack odds. Guys, the Mint Coin relics are one in every 197 packs. 
And the blacks are one in every 300 something. So we just got like three cases worth of hits. That's awesome. So there you go, Mr. Pena in the house. Yeah, I've been having a lot of rants lately. My newest rant was you need to pay when you claim. Because I think we've proven here that everything fills. So if you have time to claim a spot, you should have time to pay. I'm literally chasing everyone down, and I can't be doing that because it takes away from other operations. There was a Julio Rodriguez. And there is a Tristan Pompey. Tristan Pompey auto. Very nice pull. That was picked up at the last second by Brad, I believe. Congratulations. So now we could skip through because we know that we're looking for the upside down card, which is right there. Aaron Saval, that's to 99. I mean, am I wrong, guys? Am I wrong when I say I need payments up front? Like, have do you guys remember a time where something literally hasn't filled and we didn't break? I don't think there has been. So now we are looking for the relic or another upside down card. And Fred, if I miss anything, like an auto or something, like they gave us an extra, can you please just let me know? Heritage is not known for putting two autos in a box. That's just not their style. They're trying to give you the least they can. And there's another upside down. That is Joey Bart. So I think these are flip stock, actually, guys. That's what the other one was as well. The flip stock Will Stewart, and now it's a flip stock Joey Bart. So very nice pulls. What are the odds on the flip stocks? One in every 108. So we just pulled. Oh my goodness. We're crushing this case, by the way, guys. Here you go. We are crushing this case. Every case isn't going to be like this, so don't get too excited. Thank you, John. I really do appreciate you saying that. Guys, seriously, we do have to get payments in right away. Like, I know there's certain times when something comes up. I get it. But, Bryce trying again. You can't tell me that 90% of the time you claim a spot, and as soon as you claim a spot, somebody calls you, and you get off your phone. Like, that doesn't happen. And I'm running around like a chicken without a head. For $10 payments. But it's not the $10, it's that a bunch of people have the $10 and then it all adds up. That's the problem. We're doing very well right now, guys, on this case, just so you know, though. This is box number seven. What time did we start? I think we started at... 130 something yeah so the way i'm rocking right now it'll be an about an hour a case no hour and a half hour 20. you've pulled a ton of dodgers already just no ink Should have an auto in this stack, I'm guessing. And it is Grayson Janista. Grayson Janista. Very nice pull. Very nice. You're welcome, Bo Thompson. 
You are welcome, kind sir. Really nice. Really, really nice. Now we'll go skip along. Let's find that upside down card. Oh, Joey Bart to 50. Nice card there. The Bart spot is crushing it. Really nice pull. Sporting News Bart. Looks like we're going to have a black clubhouse. Domingo Acevedo. That is black to 50. Nice relic there. And that is the end of that. Down to our final four boxes of case number one. There's 33 people on the auto checklist. Then you also have people on the fresh on the scene checklist, like the Joey Bart. And Tristan Casas. Right, let's go. So that was the relic. It's like riding a bike though. This heritage is just like the heritage we opened up earlier this year. trying to count the cards out to see if it's the same. 25, 26, 27, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 48, 49, 50, and there it is, Joey Bart again! 51! Card number 51 in the stack. That is a nasty pull, and the Bart spot is Crushing it, crushing it right now. What is that? That's insane. Awesome pull. Awesome pull. Very nice. Oh, that lasted pretty short. We'll put Andre Jimenez over there. None so far. Now we'll do a little flip stock searching. That is Christian Robinson. That is a nice pull to 99. Really nice K-Rob. Very nice. So let's see if Pat, uh, card 51 is another auto next box. And there it is. That is Tristan McKenzie. Tristan McKenzie relic. So 
it's just a base relic. And that does it. There you go, bud. You keeping up? Or are you having a little overload? Well, the beginning put me back, so. Oh, well, you're all right. You're like, what, a box back? No. More? Yeah. It's all right. Take your time. That is Suli Matthias. All right, so let's see if it's card number 51 again. That would be insane if they just have it exact. You might as well, man, because this is going to be a long day, Chris. This is for the baseball card purist right here, this product. This is not for the flipper. This is for the collector. Exactly. William, we'll find out. We will find out right now. Because I'll tell you one thing, the relic is in the same pack every time from what I see. Right, let's count out 51 and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. Owen Miller. Owen Miller. That's crazy. That is crazy. They put the auto in the same exact spot. So this is easy. This is actually going to be really easy for us if that's how it is. Let me count how many after that they put the insert. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's a 17th card. That's Esturi Ruiz to 99. All right, so 51, then 17 cards after that. This will make life so easy though right now. Come, let's just check to see if there's any more inserts. Anything flipped upside down. Once in a while, there will be, so we have to still go through. There's a Khalil Lee relic. Nice Khalil Lee relic. I have no idea, but I'm not going to support you going and picking packs, so I'm not telling you. That's no bueno. But I will use it to my advantage for this, because it'll save us time. Here you go. Down to the final two. We're just cruising now, right? <laughs> Jericho Lennox. All right. Is this crazy though? Like you could really get down their production to that, to the point where I know where to go to get the card. Insane.
All right, let's go. Three packs left. Switched it up on us. Switched it up on us. Little relic. Keep it Ruiz. Yes, Christian Robinson Blue came out, bud. It's a nice base relic. So when they switch it up like this, we got to go slow. Don't want to miss anything. There's the auto. It is Lucan Baker. Lucan Baker. Nice auto there for the Baker spot. Beautiful pull. Congratulations. Now let's go looking for those inserts. There it is. That is Iggy. No, Izzy Wilson. That's the 99 for the Fire Frogs. Um, he already hit, so yeah, you might. Very nice, Izzy Wilson. And another relic. So that is Buddy Reed. So they gave us two relics. This one's Buddy Reed. They have no problem throwing in a $2 relic for you. Come on, be an extra little insert. Give us a little numbered card. Nothing. Here you go. And on to the final box of case number one. Cruising right now. I love it. El Ajores Montero. So I think the auto was in the same spot last time. They just gave us an extra relic. That's what happened. Which I'll take. I'll take an extra relic for you guys every day. That's the relic spot. So it looks like pack three when you stack them up is the relic. Everyone having a good time, everyone chilling, hanging out. Release day, Wednesday. Fun product. All right, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll bet you a hundred dollars this next card's an auto. Boop! Grayson Janista. Grayson Janista for the second time. Very nice pull. <laughs> Chris, they might, man. 
they honestly might. Now we're looking for those upside down. There's one. It's Adrian Morahone, the 50. Come on, give us an extra color. They haven't been, they've been a little stingy since the beginning, I'll tell you that much. And there is a Nick Gordon Clubhouse Collection, blue to 99. That's a nice one. Congratulations. No, I think uh, Leather and Lumber still has the best air fresheners. All right, something tells me they're going to give us one extra color in this pack. I don't know why. There it is. I knew it. And that's Leonardo Jimenez. That's a nice blue. Nice blue Jimenez. $2.99. When you break enough cases, you start to get good feelings. And that's the end of the case. How long? Under an hour. Yes. Here you go. I'm going to grab the other case. I'm going to use the bathroom quick. Was that not the fastest case of heritage you've seen open? Let's get to it. All right, I'm going to open this up from here because I don't want to mess up the cards on the stands. Oh, what a fresh box. One, two, three, four. Thank God there's no poster. Five. That's like the worst, those posters. Let's go. Next pack. That is Kiebert Ruiz. Now let's see how this one sets up. This box in case. Oh, it's another coin. It's another coin. Who is it? Let's see. Nolan Jones, Heritage Mint. Really nice pull there. That is number to 99. Awesome pull. If you got Nolan Jones. Where are the relic holders? That's too big. This one is just right. 
We're pulling a ton of these heritage coins. Wow. How many of you are still with me? It looks like you guys are dropping like flies. Oh, my hands are getting numb. I probably should have taken a five. Here we go. All right, betcha this one's autoed. No, it's not. It's Owen Miller, though. So it's kind of close. Oh, don't say that, Gerard. Oh, man. Owen Miller again. So that's the second Owen Miller. Heritage Minor League. Let's go look for the insert. There it is. That's Casas. Tristan Casas to 99. It's a nice one. Is there more color maybe? Because we already pulled that coin. Nope. That's the end of that one. Keep on going. How many people are in the box toppers? I haven't seen like a new person really. Oh, there's one, Wander Franco. So somebody talk to me. Keep me occupied. I am hammering out packs right now. Trying to stay with it. We started at 136. So it is not even 236 yet. And we are on box two of case two. Two, three. 
This should be ink. Oh, no, they changed it up. I think it's like 53, so it's probably right here. This is probably the auto. Nope. Where is it? Unless I missed it. Put these here because maybe I missed it in the first pile. Oh, no, they played me up. There's a nice Jordan relic. Very nice Jordan Alvarez. Maybe they played with my emotions right there. They said, take it easy, brah. Got to go slow now until we find that auto. Here's black, though. That's a nice Jordan. Oh, Jordan Groshans Inc. to 50. Wow, that's a beautiful pull. Very nice. That is a nasty hit. So that's where the ink went. Still not stand worthy yet. I think we can't. Ah, you know what? We could take the Bart Fresh off the seam off and we could put that there. I think that's worth it. So now we can move these here. So we didn't miss it. Now let's go searching for the insert. There it is. Casey Golden. Nice Casey Golden blue to 99. Yeah, they're really tough to see these autos. If you watch, uh, you go back to last year's and you look at Jordan Alvarez's auto from Heritage Miners, it's like impossible to see. It's blue ink on a blue jersey. Ooh, there's a nice Julio Rodriguez. And we already got the relic, right? So that's that. Here we go. Fred hates me right now. He's like, yo, slow down. And that is Jack Hornet. Switched it up. Oh, th no, they just gave us bonus color at the end because this. Where's the relic? Oh, I see what they're doing. So they did it backwards. I get what happened. So the auto is going to be towards the bottom. The relic's going to be on the top for this case. Most likely. Let's figure it out. So what happened is the left stack is now the right stack. Okay, okay, playing games with me tops. Playing with my emotions. I feel you. It's definitely easier to go by letter, right, Fred? Yeah. There's like 9,000 teams. You would have been like, where's the river rats? <laughs> Where are the mud hens? All right, here we go. That should be autoed. Yep. Ronnie Mauricio. Ronnie Mauricio. That's a nice pull. Kingsport Mets. I know Caesar has him. Congratulations, Caesar. Nice Mauricio. And now we can go through. Looking for those short print. Flipped over. There's one. Casey Golden. Flip stock. Nice golden flip stock. Yeah, I mean, I like to think that I'm top-notch as far as breaks go. 
truthfully. I like to make it a nice experience for you. Like I used to do that when I started probably, but not anymore. You live and you learn. Here's the relic. No, it's not. I could just imagine that would be so brutal. And that is Bo Bichette. That's a nice black relic to 50. Awesome pull for the Bichette spot. And then we did get an extra color, I remember. Right down here. That is... O'Neill Cruz. Nice O'Neill Cruz to 99. So a lot of these cards that are colored, like the blues and the blacks, have white showing out the pack. Nothing we can do about that. Here you go, Fred. But with that being said, it's going to keep the populations down for the PSA 10s. The blacks almost always have... White showing. Nick Magical. More color. I like it. More color at the bottom. Lotus up, Tops. Lotus up. There's the relic. All right, so they got back to their normal ways on this box. Good luck. That is Tristan Pompey for the second time. Tristan Pompey. So the Pompey spot pays dividends two autos out of two cases. Very nice. So now we should have card number 16. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Jared Kalenic missing name short print. Wow. That is a nice pull right there. Tough variation. Tough variation. No name. What's the odds of that? One in every 486 packs. Really tough pull there. That's one every four cases, right? 12. No, one in every two and a half cases. Awesome pull. Yeah, anything that's going to be short print is going to be upside down. So they make it easy for us. So we're not going to have to go through these cards. Thank goodness. And that is Nico Horner. Nico Horner. Relic. And that should. I think they gave us color again at the bottom. 
Let's see. Yep, they did. This is to 99. It is Sandro Fabian. Sandro Fabian. Yes, different from that. Correct. Here you go, Fred. Casey Mize. Like a Kalenic like that is big. I think like a Kalenic like that we just pulled is like 50 bucks maybe. Maybe more. Oh, that's pretty cool. Matthew Libertor. That is the 15. Really low numbered Libertor. Wow. Gold, copper. That's nice. It looks like the originals, too. Really nice pull. So this should be 20, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This should be ink right there. Owen Miller, fresh to the scene. Fresh to the scene to 99. You know what? I think the Joey Bart was numbered as well. The Bart was numbered to 99 as well because this one is too. So nice pull there for the Owen Miller spot. Third Owen Miller to pop out. It is Joseph Jaquez. That's black to 50. A lot of these guys are in Bowman Chrome. Or Bowman Draft. A lot of these guys are in the last three Bowman releases. And that is Cabrian Hayes to 99. Nice blue relic. Very nice pull. So, so far you haven't pulled any of them in inserts, but you got a ton of base, Jeff. Um, not yet, William. I still have like six cases left I need to get through. I might do another HTA break. Bryce Terrain for like the 20th time. All right, so this is the halftime box of this case. Box number six. If anyone wants a case of HTA, I will beat Blowout. 
I bought from Blowout, but I will beat Blowout if anybody wants a case of HTA. I'm trying to get rid of them. Without having to break them. Here's going to be the auto. Nope. No. Where is it? Oh, they hid it from us. They didn't put it in the same spot. So we're going to have to take our time with this box until we find it. Or usually when they do that, it's a color auto and they put it somewhere else. That is Christine Bosch. Nice relic there. Yeah, it might be color auto coming up. That's what I'd say. Oh. Andres Jimenez, that is to 99. See some color. All right, now I'm getting nervous. Jordan Groshans. So it's like the only time that it doesn't come out in the right place is when it's Jordan Groshans. Nice pull there. Groshans 11. That's the end of that one. They deked us out, Gerard. They deked us out. Big time. And that is Nolan Gorman. No, nope, Nate Lowe. That was a bad, bad call. I think Groshans, I think Madrigal was in the mini. No, Ryan? Who was in the mini? I think it was Nick Madrigal. Or was it Groshans? One of them was in the mini. No top loader autos yet. Nope. I was like, oh no, did I throw in two of them? Because I tried to only put one heavy hitter in that in each one to keep the price down. All right, here we go. Is this 
the auto. Now, so they're playing games with us now. Now they're putting the auto in a different spot. It's towards the bottom of the pack. They're doing it on purpose. So you can't guess where it is. And that is Heliot Ramos Relic. No Terang Autos yet. Wow, oh, this kills it when the auto's not up top. And it's Kiba Ruiz. There we go. Nice little Kiba Ruiz. Now we could go. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There it is. That is Brandon Marsh to 50. That's the end of that. Hernandez, Ronaldo Hernandez. Let's update the filth cam. We haven't done that in a minute. All right, so I'm going to try to switch it up because I think the way it's been going, they've been changing up the rows that they're putting the autos and relics in. So I just flip flopped it. So we'll see if that worked. Of course, this will be the box where they don't do it in either because it's a crazy insert or something. So I think we're going to have a blue auto from what I just saw. I think we'll have a blue auto. I couldn't see who it was, but we shall see. So we got a Heritage Mint card of Brewstar Greaterall. That's black, and that is number to 50. Nice pull there. Whoever's got that spot, nice pull. That was not an expensive spot. I think we have blue ink. Let's see what it is. Let it be a monster. This is Kirilov to 50. Nice pull there. Who is it going to be? Tristan Pompey to 99. The third Pompey to pop out in the two cases. Nice pull there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And Dustin May, that's a nice pull to 99. Brett, I am. So far you pulled a nice Bachette relic. I think you have Bo Bichette, right? Henry.
And this is Mateo Gill. That is the 99. So a lot of color coming out of here. Yeah, I think you have a Bichette to 99. Nice relic. And that's the end of that one. Luis Garcia. No, that's a Joey Bart auto on the stand, actually. And then that's a Jordan Groshans. And Seth Beer. The first case was super hot. That's what that was. That first case was monster. No, he's not all up in it. Who would you drop him for again? They just hit a relic to 99. Four packs. You want to grab these, Fred? How you doing? Uh, behind. What? Behind. Bad or no? Yeah. It's all right. We'll take a break after this case. We'll catch up. Here you go. It's tough to do a base heavy product as fast as I'm going through because I'm not going through everything. Should be ink. It is Bryce Terang. So there you go. The Terang has hit. Terang is hit. Uh, you already hit a Luke and Baker auto, Jay. You hit a Baker auto. Terang on the board. So now we know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Zach Collins. That's a black Zach Collins to 50. Keep on going. And the relic is Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis on the relic. go just to add to your backup pile Fred there you go all right three boxes left in this case Joey Bart so we've seen a lot of the big names come out for the ink still no Wander Franco that was the most expensive spot in the break. No Casey Mize. No Casey Mize yet, but hopefully we'll hit him. I love Casey Mize. Yeah, it is a good product, John. Totally agree. Loving it. Like, I'm actually having fun opening it up, even though it's so base heavy. Fred, not so much. Fred's, next time I mention Heritage, he's going to cra- No! He's going to fall down and just hide. Hey, Fred, you want to break heritage? Uh-uh. No thanks. 
Is that a redemption? That can't be. Oh, it's a redemption. Who is it? Wander Franco. Fresh on the scene. Auto. Wander Franco. So that is a filth bomb and a half right there. Boom. Every time I say something that happens, isn't that strange? You pulled the Casas Auto already. All right, so Jordan Groshans, that was short-lived. So now we know that Wanda Franco is a redemption. So this wouldn't necessarily be the best product to buy and hold because the best person's a redemption. Uh-oh, can't like that. Can't like that. I had a feeling it was going to be Wanda Franco, too. I knew it. When I saw the redemption, I was like, guarantee this is him. He's the only person that doesn't sign like that. All right, so we already got the auto, so we could go like this. Oh, we got another auto! Brock Deathridge! Brock Deathridge! So I guess if it's a redemption, they'll throw you a real auto so you don't feel robbed. Fred, have you seen any autos as you were doing that? Nah. Yeah, so I guess if it's a redemption, they'll throw you a live one, and they'll just make sure it's a scrub. Nice pull there. Where's that upside down one? This is all messed up, this case. There it is. Charles Brewer Hicklin, the 99. You might as well just stop watching, John. No, but you gotta watch. I love when you're in here. That just means we're pulling Casey Myers next. Imagine Casey Mize is the relic. Does he have a relic in here? And then we got a bat relic Esteban Florial to 99. It's a nice pull. Blue to 99. I knew there had to be a wander here. There was getting two. That's MJ Melendez to 50. There was getting too uh, quiet of a case. They were doing us dirty. And that's the end of that one. Fred, come on and add to your pile. Fred just told me he quit. He just gave me his uh, walking papers. Oh, this is blue? Could this be autoed? Nope. Julio Pablo Martinez. The Brewers are like the perfect team for the Astros right now. You realize that? The Brewers are gonna like knock off some NL teams and then they're going to make it to like the World Series and the Astros are going to be licking their chops. Like, thank God. Thank God we got them. That's what happens. You get a hot team like that. They get into the playoffs. They do a little damage, knock out the big guns. And then the uh, big guns on the other team just lick their chops. Like, what's up, buddy? Let's go. See, we're dropping people like flies. Everyone had enough of this. They're like, yeah, I'll come back for the recap in six hours.
This should be it. 40, 49, 50. Andrew Kneiser. Andrew Kneiser. That's a short print auto. High number short print auto, I believe. A little dinged up bottom right corner, though. Still a nice pull. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And O'Neill Cruz flip stock. Very nice flip stock. Now let's go searching. I'm telling you, I'm gonna make my major league day minor league debut this year. Fred's coming. Fred's getting a ten day contract. That is Miguel Amaya. Nice relic there. Really nice relic. And that's the end of that. We are under our final box of case number two. Oh boy, are we are we motoring or are we motoring? It's only so we're gonna be around the two hour mark. Maybe less. Except here. All right. Let's go. It was just an O'Neill Cruz to ninety nine, I believe. No, it was a flip stock. It was a flip stock. This is kind of a weak case. Aside from the wander. There better be something big in here. And put the auto there. Fake out. Maybe some color. Maybe some color. That is Dylan Cease. Nice little relic there. Bichette has an auto. I think you're looking for color and relics with Bichette. Oh, wait, what am I doing? We didn't find the auto yet. going to be color ink. I'm 
must have missed it. Oh, that's annoying. Let's go find it. Must be, must be dark. Must be dark. Or it could be like up in a corner like the Joey Bart. If we missed it, it's because it's somebody we haven't pulled yet, that means. Because I would have seen it. They just didn't give us an auto. Let me just see something. If I turn it around, I could look for ROI, real one, auto, whatever. So no, that'd be a bummer. Let's see. Did they short us? Are you sure it was an insert auto? This puts a dent in uh, the time. All right, so if it is an insert auto, let's go to the inserts and look. Here, Fred, take these. Get these away so we don't confuse them. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Here you go. Nada. Nada. Here you go. All right, so if it's not in this stack right here, they shorted us an auto. I'm pretty sure it would say real one, though, on the back when I was looking. R-O-A. And maybe that's what you thought you saw. That's not ink, though. And that's that. Yeah, so they shorted us an auto. Whatever. One short auto. All right, I'm going to get the next case. Fred, you're definitely quitting. We can sort it out tomorrow, too, though. I just don't know where you're going to put it right now. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Moving on to case number three. We are under an hour a case.
Let's go. Let's go. On to the next. Case number three. Who bangs out product like this, guys? Come on. And I feel this Montero. Yeah, this is case number three we're starting right now, Dave. Here we go. Three packs left. Let's go. Matthias. There we go. That's the 50. That's a really nice pull. Sweet pull. I think Bobby has him, right? Nice pull, Bob. And that's Luke and Baker. Luke and Baker, real one auto. Second Baker to pop out. Now we could go looking for the color. That is Telmito Augustine to 99. Now I'm only going to recap on the short prints and the autos because this is brutal. Definitely not going to go through all the colors and relics. I'll go through the numbered relics and the coins. Oh, we got gold to 15. Who is it? Casey Golden. That's a really nice pull. Really nice golden. Woo! Sweet it. That's the end of that one. You go, Frederick. Is your name Fred or Frederick on the bird? Frederick. Frederick? Yeah. Yes, I knew it. <laughs> you look like a Frederick. And that is Jared Kalenic. box two and it's been under two hours I'm trying so hard to knock these out my arms are trying to get tired not all heroes wear capes is right Ryan because I am starting to feel it now in my shoulders I'm not gonna lie my shoulders are shaking 
But I'm trying to make this bearable for everyone. So that's why we are going to rock and roll like boys. Matt Mercer flip stock. And they messed me up now. I'm going to have to go digging through these because they literally don't have any rhyme or reason to these boxes right now. Suli Matthias. For the second time, this one is a base. The other one was the 50. And that is Daz Cameron. That is blue to 99. It looks like we're gonna have blue ink. We are going to have blue ink. Who will it be? No, it won't be anyone. Did I just miss ink looking for blue ink? Or no, it looks like it's black ink. All right, we're gonna have black ink. Who will it be? That is Luke and Baker to 50. Very nice pull. Luke and Baker to 50. <laughs> William Pomeroy says, I was like, there's white showing all up on this card though, Jay, just so you know. I go, I was trying to make it bearable for everyone. He goes, yeah, bearable for everyone but Fred. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here you go. card we're missing. Here you go. Like some of these are almost full already. Yeah. Luis Garcia. So if that happens, right. just make a pile for that letter somewhere else. You know what I mean? Like put it against remember what we did with Bowman, like we put it against the wall. But since there's stuff there, put it like Clear like room over there, uh, you know. Unless, we move these unless to you the take floor. a box, put a box upside down. Unless we move these to the floor, like yeah, yeah, do that, do that. Uh, That's smart. No Casey Mize yet, Travis. Yes, he is, Ryan. Somebody goes. I assume Fred's the poor sob sorting. <laughs> And they say they're sorry. <laughs> Would you say you're done with a case yet? What? Do you think you're done with one case? Uh, I'd say so, yeah, but... All right. I, I mean, I'm flying, that's why, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, be an auto. Oh, so we're gonna have to keep going through. I don't like this right now, what they're doing. Relic is Cabrian Hayes. No J-Rod color. But we still have almost two cases to go. So don't go panicking on me yet.
That is Adrian Marajon to 50. And that's Owen Miller again. Third base, Owen Miller. Third base, Owen Miller. So one a case. Plus he got an insert to 99 auto. Nice pull. So we should have the flip, right? Or no, that already happened. That's it. All right, so I know what I'm doing now, guys. know what I'm doing so I think they're messing with us right so I gotta just take the rose out there for me that's all Nick magical now the auto should be where it normally is let's see yeah two Matthias uh, relics one to 50 one base City Trash Pandas. I'm about to try to win an experience. And if I win, I am going to tape everything live. And that'll be great content for the room. Or I'm going to make Fred do it. I'm going to make Fred go live. I'm going to watch. And that's Nate Pearson. Nate Pearson relic. This is Brian Campusano to ninety nine. And Grayson Janista for the third time. Another nice auto. There you go. That's pretty awesome, Jay. That's sweet. Then we got Bobby Doll back to 99. Now we could just go, did we get the auto? Yeah. So now we could go searching for anything extra. Right, that's that. Thank you. There's a team called Jumbo Shrimp. <laughs> a team called the Jumbo Shrimp? Yeah. The Bubba Gump Jumbo Shrimp? <laughs> Cuba Ruiz. This is 
box number four of case three. Everyone's leaving me hanging right now. They're like, you're on your own. We went from 25 viewers to seven. <laughs> they were like, nope. No thanks. This isn't what I signed up for. Let me know if I hit anything. I still say Ginter was the best though. Ginter was good, right? That was fun. Even though it was like, it wasn't really like that bad, like you know, because it mm -hmm. was nice cards. Yeah, and it yeah. Was more of like select people. Definitely, I liked it. Somebody's team named Sod Poodles. <laughs> Owen Miller on the Sod Poodles. The Rumble Ponies. The Nuts. That stinks. Hi, I play for the Nuts. nasty Casey Mize Brock Deathridge so this has to be randomed off that is to 20 that is to 20 that is a nasty filth bomb right there wow what a sweet hit that is awesome beautiful card All right, let's do this. Let's put that there. Put that there. Put that there. And Joey Bart comes off. What a beautiful card that is. Really nice. And now we got two. Brock Burke to 50. What else we got rocking? That's such a nice auto. Ooh, another one. This is a nice Cabrian Hayes to 99. Heritage Mint. Really nice pull. All right, a couple of nice cards coming out of these cases. Here you go, Frederick. You have Hayes as well?
All right, let's go. And that is Seth Beer. Nice pull for the beer spot. Zach Davis back on the board. That's a filth bomb. It's crazy. We need to like make piles of like the filth bombs that don't make the stand because we're so limited on what we can uh, put up there. This is Mitchell White. That's the 50. It's blue. It is Evan White to 99. Beautiful blue relic. Congratulations. Uh, just base. Just base, Davey. Nice blue relic there. And that's the end of that one. six people in that set it looks like <laughs> the same people over and over anybody want to rip some Bowman Chrome tonight HTA if anybody wants to rip some of that I could throw some of that up tonight Get some hits out. This is a halftime box, it looks like. No, this is box number seven. Damn. We are crushing. And that is Luis Robert. Nice little relic there with a pinstripe. Bobby Dahlback on a relic. There we go. Dahlback relic. If you guys are hanging out with me right now, you're the best. All eight of you. Everyone had enough. They're like, this product is too base heavy. But not us. We respect it.
And that's Ronnie Mauricio for the second time. Congratulations. Uh, two relics this box. Yes. They gave us an extra relic. Nice Mauricio. Haven't pulled any color yet. Where's the color? That is Casey Mize to 99. There we go. The Mize spot's heating up. Anything else? That's that. Here we go. Seth Beer. Oh, here's a coin. Another coin. Keeper Ruiz. That's a nice one in 99. Beautiful pull for the Ruiz owner. Um, no, I don't. No one's inquired about it. I would definitely break it if there was interest, though. I think we have a blue auto now, guys. I'm almost certain that this we have a blue auto on. I just can't see who it is. Do we have the blue coming? Nope, it's down lower. This is Isaac Paredes, two ninety nine. All right, it is going to be a blue auto. Let's go. Let's hit something. Nico Horner to 99. Nico Horner to 99. Very nice pull. Very nice pull. Boom. That's a filled bomb. And that is Blaze Alexander, no name. 
No names. That's a tough one. Very nice pull there. So that's the second one we've seen in three cases. The first one was a Kalenic. Here you go, Fred. We're on box number nine of case number three. Wander Franco. Another coin. Nope. But it is a relic. the auto. There's the relic that's Estevan Florial, bat relic. And that's Tristan Pompey for the fourth time. Fourth time today. Nice pull. And that is Rico Garcia, Michael King, James Marvel. So those get randomed off. Second card that's going to have to get randomed. All right, that's the end of that. Here you go, Fred. No more bow. Not yet. Ronaldo Hernandez. Yo, we are crushing right now. We started at 136. It's been two and a half hours. No, two hours and 20 minutes. All right, 236, 336. And we're almost done with three cases. Wow. That's what I like to see.
Tell you what, I'm getting tired though. I have to take a nice chug of that coffee after this box. That's Nico Horner. Nice relic there. And that's Nick Madrigal. Nick Madrigal. There you go. Finally, he pops out. He was one in a mini. Nice pull there. Let me get the bigger hits over there. Boom. Yeah. There you go. This is Matt Mercer to 50. Yeah, definitely. The reason why the Bichette spot was so much, even though it was base, is because those are like $2 a pop right now, and you're going to get 20 to 30 Bichettes. So, like, you'll make your money back on base Bichette. And then also there's inserts, then there's uh, color potentially. And PSA, they'll bring a lot. They're like $20 cards, PSA. Back to back, Kyle Lewis. That's weird. And that's the end of that. Let's up the psychiatrist is here now. She needs business. All right, get those opened. Let's get those opened. And let's go. Julio Pablo Martinez. Go. If you're one of the loyal six watching right now, you guys are awesome. Everyone said enough. Everyone's out. I'd be out too, probably, truthfully. You just want to see the end result. I get it. So I'll be here doing the dirty work. And that is Jordan Groshans. Jordan Groshans Base Auto. So now we'll go fishing for the color. 
That is Cal Funkhauser to 99. Here's the relic, Kyle Lewis. Nice red swatch there. Nice Kyle Lewis. There you go, Brett. You're the man. You're one of the seven. You're one of the seven. Give us something else. Give us a little color. Give us some nasty gold. All right, and we are done with box 11. There you are. Let's move on to box number 12. Then I am going to take a sip of my coffee, use the bathroom quick, and we're going to come back for the last case. But I'll stay live the whole time. Joey Fart. That's true. <laughs> Gerard's here watching, though. Thank you, bud. That's some trooping right there. I appreciate it. Damn, I cannot believe the pace on that. Oh, I love it. Fred, how you doing, they asked. I'm all right. He said, I'm all right. I'm alive. He's alive. You got to see these piles. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. And that's Wander Franco base card image variation. Wow. That is a filth bomb. That is a filth bomb. Nastiness. Image variation Franco. Woo-wee. That could go on a stand. Nasty pull there. Congratulations. Wow. Wow. Image variation? Those are serious. So last time they gave us a redemption, we got a live auto. So let's see if it stays the same. Ooh, Vidal Bruhan. That is number one of one. One of one. Who has Bruhan? Anybody have Bruhan? Oh my. Come on. So brutal. That's a nasty pull. Congratulations. Really nice. I can't. You heard her knocking already. She's so brutal. Does anyone have Bruhan? Someone check that out. Did I wind up getting Bruhan, luckily? No one claim him? I'm sure someone claimed that guy. I have him? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm going to just hold it then for like the next three years. I'm not even looking to sell it. And that is Carlos Cortez. Carlos Cortez. That's a tough one, apparently. Nice pull. So they do give us a live one when they give us a redemption. Here's a redemption. I mean, that is Esteban Florial to 25. What a box this was. Wow. What a box that was. 
Beautiful Florial to 25. Alejandro Kirk, that is flip stock. That's a nice pull. I'm going to put that up on a stand if it's possible. Because it should be. It's a one of one It's nice. You know what? We'll take Wander fresh off the scene off. We'll put that. Because that's cool. That's a one of one Sorry. Sorry, Wander. And that's the end of that one. So we are done with case number three. Moving right along to case number four in just a second. Be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom again. All right, here we go, guys. Box case number four. Case number four. Let's rock and roll. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Box number one. Good luck. Nick Madrigal. Just so you guys know, we started at 136. It has been... 
Way under three hours, and we were on our last case. Uh, John, I may post some Bowman Chrome up tonight. Some Bowman Chrome HTA, possibly. We'll see what the room's feeling after this. Maybe. There's a 50-50 chance. 75-25. Of melting. <laughs> All right, this is the final case. If you're just joining us. Go, let's do it. Oh, we got gold coming up. What is it gonna be? Connor Pilkington? Connor Pilkington, he follows me everywhere, this guy. That is five of fifteen. That's Dan Breener's favorite pitcher. Connor Pilkington. Keep throwing the river rat cards away by accident. We gotta save those so this way we could try to win it and tape it. You gotta call me if I go, deal? Yeah. <laughs> we gotta tape it for the room. That'll be so funny. Oh, there's Bryce Terang. Nice ink for Bryce Terang. Like, you can't even see that. It's so tough. Blue ink on a blue jersey. Look at that. That's what they did for Jordan last year. Nice pull for the terrain owner. And now we can go looking for the color. There it is. This is Spencer Howard. That is blue to 99. Nice pull there for the Howard owner. I really can't believe she knocked over when I wasn't even allowed. Mm -hmm. Like that was just like straight. Well, you had to see Patsy was here yesterday with me, and he was so loud, and she banged like 17 times. <laughs> it's on video, too. It's crazy, bro. Someone needs to just bang on her. That's what has to happen. You have to just bang on her door as hard as you can while she's with someone. And it is Sully Matthias for the third time. Nice Matthias relic. Very nice pull. This is the third Matthias Relic. Anything else you're going to give us? A little extra, a little extra colors? Nope. Box one is done. Moving on to box number two. Bryce Terang for the 19th time. I think he's the only one in the set. I think there's 19 Bryce Terangs in the set. Caesar, honestly, if you take the train here and bang her door, I'll give you $100 break credit. But you got to just be so ridiculous and be willing to go to jail for it. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Just keep banging on her door. And then when she shuts it again, just keep banging. But you know she's going to call the cops. Oh, we might have black ink. Nope, it's a relic.
Do we have nothing? And that is Cabrian Hayes to 50. Nice black relic. <laughs> Caesar, you laughed out loud? That's great. Brett, that's what you got to do. That'd be great. Because we're still looking for the ink. And that's Andrew Kaiser for the second time. Nice pull. Looking for that color. This is Brennan Rogers. That is the 50. The guy who owned Brennan Rogers got the boot today. Gave him that fat boot. And that's the end of that box. <laughs> You're getting so flustered. <laughs> there you go. On the box number three of the final case. Ronnie Mauricio. Hold on one sec, guys. the 101. Vidal Bruhan is in a mini somewhere, by the way. Ooh, is that real ones? We have real ones ink, guys. No, it's not, but that's Jonathan India to 25. Wow. What a nasty pull for the India owner. I think that's Brad, who bought him at the last second. Great pull. Great pull. Awesome. That's so sweet. You gotta get the sign like into the air. Tilt bomb. <laughs> That's what we need. And that's Nico Horner again. Nice little relic for the Horner spot. And 
that is Luis Robert image variation. Wow. Great pull there. Very nice card. That can go over here, I guess, because it's the only image variation we pulled in four cases. Oh no, we pulled a Wander Franco auto. That's why. Is there still an auto? That's the question. That is Matthew Libertor. Ooh, so that is an image variation? No, it's just blue to 99. I'm bugging now. Now I've opened up way too many of these. I'm just all out of it. I'm so slow right now, Fred caught up. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine that's how slow I was going. People would definitely sign off. And that's the end of that one. Here you go. Let's update the filth cam. Some great cards have come out of these four cases. I'll tell you that much. Um, they put them upside down, Brett. They make it easy for me. They make my job easy. I'm not that good. And that is Jonathan India. That's the first time I saw that in four cases. Wow. The first time I saw someone that wasn't named Bryce Terrain. Uh, No Victor Mesa. Nope. So we are still under the three hour mark. Just so you guys know. No one's banging through heritage like we are right now. I'll tell you that much. Is this the not is this not the most bearable four case heritage break you've ever been in? I'd have to say this. There's Anthony Siegler for the second time. That's a cool looking auto. Anthony Siegler. I think you did all right though, John. Push comes to shove this break, you did all right. I think you're on the right path for sure. Plus with all the base, I don't think you're gonna lose. I think you're in the plus actually. Here is a Seth Beer that is blue to 99. Another nice pull. He plays for the Woodpeckers, in case you were wondering. That's so brutal. Hey, what's up? I play for the Woodpeckers. Oh, it's a black relic. Could be something nice. Let's see. No, it's not. But it is Bobby Dahlback for the second time. Bobby Dahlback relic. Bobby V. Fred's going to be sorting until tomorrow. <laughs> You're going to start seeing different teams. Here you go. At the end of that one, we're down to our final eight boxes. 
Honestly, I can't even get Top Series 1. They allocated it. But you know what? I might do a crazy player break for Top Series 1. If you guys want, because Jordan Alvarez is going to be in there. Luis Garcia. I think Bo Bichette's first rookie. I'll do a crazy player break for that. Over like three days, we'll do like a 12 case break. You know how crazy that would be? Here's another coin. That is, ooh, Wander Franco. Wander Franco, that's a nice pull. Congratulations there. Uh, it's Casey Mize and Brock Deathridge. This is it. That should do the trick. I'll even rip some backs for you. I just don't know if there's enough interest in a 10 case player break. Imagine we did 10 cases of Series 1. That would be so much fun, though. All right, that's a 1 of 1 Vidal Bruhan. And Anthony Siegler, that's a nice fresh on the scene. Fresh on the scene to 99. Siegler spot, doing nice. Nice pull there. Now we're going to go looking for the colors or the variations. This is Jordan Yamamoto. That's a nice pull. Black to 50. There's no relic because we pulled the wander, right? Yep. And that's the end of that one. We are down to our final seven boxes. Um, yes, you hit a Kiebert Ruiz auto. You did hit a Ruiz auto. Only one. It's pretty short printed. I'm guessing. are coming back for case number four. Here we 
here we go. Ooh, my hands are getting numb. There's Ronnie Mauricio for the third time. There you go, Caesar. Really nice pull. Really nice pull. Caesar crushing it with the Mauricio spot. And this is going to be Mitch Keller, 299. Thank you, Michael. Well, if you were watching this whole time, you would have seen plenty of it, but there's so much that came out. And it's going to be Ronaldo Hernandez. That's blue. Relic two ninety nine. Nice pull. And that's Kevin Smith reverse flip stock. go and that's the end of that box final half case of the night we are just at three hours we are two minutes short of the three hour mark so this has been pretty quick thank you for tuning in Nolan Gorman some nastiness. That felt big. I don't know why. Light too bright. And that is Nico Horner. Nico Horner. Nice pull there. Alexander to 50. That's a nice pull. So now we're just 
is going to the colors or variations. That is Luis Robert. I feel like they're going to give us more color somewhere right here. Nope. Here we go. Five boxes left. So we are at the one hour mark right now. I mean the three hour mark. Let's go. Oh, two for the price of one. Couldn't give us two autos like that, right? And that is Carlos Cortez for the second time. Carlos Cortez for the second time. Base auto. Now we're going to go look for those variations or something this is joey bart to 99 so the bart spot had a really nice break really nice I think we got gold. No, we don't. That is Jordan Alvarez. Nice Jordan relic. Give us some more color. Come on. Fred, four more boxes left.
is a coin. That is Sean Murphy. That's a nice pull to 99. Really nice coin. Nice Sean Murphy. Poor Fred, somebody just said. They all love you, Fred. Even though the filth cam's not up. It restarted because it was too many pictures, I think. go Should have an auto coming up. Or maybe not. Oh, it looks like we're going to have a blue auto with some white shown on the bottom. Ugh. Come on, be a big one at least. This is Israel Pineda. That is uh, reverse flip stock. Here we go. And that's Andrew Kneiser, 99 and 99. Nice pull there. Blue Andrew Kneiser. Awesome pull. And now we got back to the recycled penny sleeves. All right, let's get to the very that is Roberto Ramos. That's to 99. Nice blue. Somebody said, Fred, drink coffee. I think we need to get him a gift card. Do you drink coffee? A little bit, yeah. He said a little bit. If you guys want to get him a gift card, he said he's game. And was there no relic? Oh, no, there was a coin, right? Because that does it for that one. Here you go. Three boxes left, Fred. I got my coffee, Brett. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't mind putting in the work for you guys, though. I've said that from the beginning. How many people you see doing a Heritage Minor player break? I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I love what I do. I love it.
we've got no ink yet. Relic is Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis with another relic. I'll just get a regular iced coffee with no syrup and just um a little half and half. Nothing too crazy. What do you get? for that auto. And that is Jordan Groshins. Another one. Go see if there's any variations. Why well, that looks so weird? What's the codes? Nope, that's just a normal one. I don't remember seeing that. That's weird. And this is Nate Pearson in '99. Nice blue. I, I mess with that. I mess with that Caesar. You get an energy drink from the gas station. Love it. That's Dakota for you. We haven't got two colors in a while. Is there another one down here? Nope. Here you go. And we are down to the final two boxes. We'll update the filth cam for you. Pablo Martinez. See a lot of stuff when you open up four cases. We'll go through all the cards, Brett, even the base. And that's Kristen Posh. for those inks. This is Matt Manning. That is 250. Nice pull there. And that is Jake McCarthy to 99. Jake McCarthy to 99, fresh on the scene. That's a nice insert auto.
And that is Keegan Aiken, Logan Allen, Scott Moss. So that would be random off. Pitching leaders to 99. Does anyone have any of those guys? And that's the end of that box. We are down to the final box of the four caser. All good things must come to an end. I had a lot of fun. We saw a lot of great cards. And that is an autograph. That is a real auto. That's the 25. That's Joey Bart. So the Joey Bart spot just crushed it with some ink on the last box. Woo! Nice pull. Fred, can you do me a favor? Yeah. By the bubble wrap, there's like these um, plastic, big plastic, like 8 by 10 things. Can you give me one of those real quick? You see they're like plastic. They're by the bubble wrap over there. To your right. See the big bubble wrap? Do you see the big? Yeah. Now you see under it? Yeah, just one, one, uh, yeah, let me get one of those. Really nice pull. Thanks, man. I'll keep that nice and safe in here. Yeah, that was a good start to the box. Finally, there was one. Ooh, it's a coin. All right, we might have a nice box here. That is Dustin made a 50. There you go. Really nice. What'd you guys tell me they call him? Ginger Guard? That's hilarious. That is it. Final box. Oh, we got gold, I think. Finally. That is Brennan McKay. Really nice pull there to 15 for the McKay spot. That is 15 of 15. Awesome pull. So there's, that's the case hit. We get one of these a case, and that was it. Awesome pull for the McKay owner. Here, Fred, take these, because I have no room now that there's Joey Bart's on the way. And that is Tristan Casas. That'll be the last auto of the evening. Uh, it is Brock Deathridge and Casey Mize, Derek. Nice Tristan Casas. Here, take these. Now we could go look 
for the variations. Wait, this is an auto. It is? Yeah. Oh my god, they give us two autos. Did I just give you that? Yeah. Elahulis Montero. There we go. He was unclaimed, I think. That was the only one that we pulled with that guy. That's the only auto you've seen? That's the only mess up I made all day? Unless my eyes are just not... Uh... <laughs> I saw that right away, though, because it was red. So, wait, maybe I just gave it to you. I did just give that to you, then. Yeah. So, is this a hot case? Let's see. Maybe there's more autos in it. I mean, a hot box. Joe Adele. That's a nice Adele to 99. Take these. All right, we're almost done, guys. Last couple stacks. Now that we saw that there was extra autos there, let's just be careful. Where's the flip color? Oh, we just pulled in a Dell. That's right. And where's the relic? Maybe they gave us an extra auto instead of a relic. I'll take that. All right, awesome. That's the end of the break, guys. Um, here, take this. I'm going to go do a recap for you guys. I'm going to go through the uh, hits of note. And then we'll send you on your way. So we'll go with the case hits. These are one every case. These are the 15. That's Brendan McKay, Connor Pilkington, Casey Golden, and Matthew Liberatore. Then these are tough. This is a missing name. That is... Uh, Blaze Alexander and Jared Kalenic. Then this is an uh, action variation, Luis Robert. Then we will go to the relics. These are the 25. That's Esteban Florial. These are to 50. That is Cabrian Hayes, Suli Matias, Bo Bichette, Domingo Acevedo, and Jesus Sanchez. These are 299. This is going to be Ronaldo Hernandez, Evan White, Esteban Florio, Cabrian Hayes, Nick Gordon, and Dylan Cease. We're not going to go through the base relics. No need to do that. We won't go through the color. All right, these are the flip stocks. These are like two a case, I believe. That's Israel Pineda, Kevin Smith, Alejandro Kirk, Matt Mercer, O'Neill Cruz, Casey Golden, Joey Bart, and Will Stewart. Then we'll go on to the Heritage Mint. Those look like they were two a box. I mean a case. These are the 50. That's Dustin May, Bruce Dahl Graterall, Andres Jimenez. Then we got Cabrian Hayes. Hebert Ruiz, Sean Murphy, Wander Franco, Nolan Jones, and Joe Adele. Those are the 99. And here we go. We'll start with the ink. Alejandro Montero, Tristan Casas, Carlos Cortez, Ronnie Mauricio, Anthony Siegler, Andrew Kneiser, Bryce Terang, Carlos Cortez, Tristan Pompey, Ronnie Mauricio, Grayson Janista, Owen Miller, Luke and Baker, Andrew Kneiser, Bryce Terang, Kiebert Ruiz, Jordan Groshans, Tristan Pompey, Ronnie Mauricio, Owen Miller, Grayson Janista, Luke and Baker, Brock Detheridge, Owen Miller, Grayson Janista, Tristan Pompey, Alec Thomas, Ryland Bannon, Jake McCarthy, Anthony Siegler. Then these are the 99, fresh on the scene. That's Anthony Siegler, Jake McCarthy, Owen Miller. These are the 99. This is Andrew Kneiser, uh, Tristan Pompey, and then the 50, Luke and Baker. So we'll get to the bigger autos now. We got Groshans, Nico Horner, Jonathan India to 25. Wander Franco, fresh on the scene auto, those are the 99. Seth Beer to 99. Jordan Groshans, Jordan Groshans to 50. Fresh on the scene, Joey Bart to 99. Nico Horner to 99. Nick Madrigal, Joey Bart, and Seth Beer. 
And then we got this cool box topper auto of Joey Bart to 25. And then our biggest hits are going to be a 101 Vidal Bruhan. I don't know if that's our biggest hit, but it's cool. Then we hit this 19 MILB stars to 20 Brock Deathridge, Casey Mize. And then this is the biggest hit by far. Base card image variation auto, Wander Franco. Really nice pull. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in for the four cases. Really appreciate it. If you have any questions, shoot me a PM. I'm here for you guys. And on that note, on behalf of myself, Stephen Michael, and us, Phil Bomb Breaks, I want to thank you for giving us the opportunity and breaking with us this evening. And until the next break, till the next case boxer pack, I'm signing off. Saying sayonara, bro, Tani's. Catch you on the flip side. Make it a filthy one. Hey, this is World Series champion Johnny Damon. This is World Series champion Cliff Floyd. This is Kevin Newman of the Pittsburgh Pirates. This is a World Series champion Ozzy Guillen. This is Carlos Pena, 14-year MLB veteran. This is two-time NL MVP Dale Murphy of the Atlanta Braves. This is John Clonay, pitcher with the Arizona Diamondbacks. This is World Series champion Joe Musgrove. This is Jordan Luplo of the Cleveland Indians. This is Lance Coach Jim Houston Astros. This is up is A. Jones of the Buffalo Bills. It's Tyler Lockett of the Seattle Seahawks. It's Hunter Henry of the L.A. Chargers. This was Lincoln Seiko. And when I'm not on the field catching bombs from Russell Wilson. When I'm not on the field catching bombs. When I'm not on the field catching bombs. When I'm not on the field hitting bombs. I'm watching my guys over at Bill Bomb, 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 Bill Bomb breaks off those nasty, 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 I know a thing or two about hitting some bombs, fellas, but there's nothing quite like hitting a filth bomb with my guys over at Filth Bomb Breaks. Filth Bomb! Filth Bomb! Mike Trout 101 Auto! MVP Breakers, MVP Prices. Keep those filth bombs coming, I'll keep those World Series coming. Thanks for making baseball cards fun again. Thanks for making baseball cards fun again, guys. Go Bucks. Thanks for making collecting cards fun again for the kids and... For all of us old timers as well. The way they make baseball cards fun again, guys. Keep pulling those nasty filth bombs. And pull me a Jose Canseco Super Fractor. And hit me a West Coast Super Fractor. Go Astros. Please pull me a Duponte Super Fractor. How about you go pull me a Jordan Luplo Super Fractor? And now, introducing from New York. Opening packs at the speed of sound. Pulling filth out of cases tightly. The undefeated, undisputed champion of the sports card breaking industry, Bill Bob It's time for Bill Hey, this is World Series champion Johnny Damon. This is World Series champion Cliff Floyd. This is Kevin Newman of the Pittsburgh Pirates. This is a World Series champion Ozzy Guillen. This is Carlos Pena, 14-year MLB veteran. This is two-time NL MVP Dale Murphy of the Atlanta Braves. This is John Clonay, pitcher with the Arizona Diamondbacks. This is World Series champion Joe Musgrove. This is Jordan Luplo of the Cleveland Indians. This is Lance Coach Jim Houston Astros. This is up in St. Jones of the Buffalo Bills. It's Tyler Lockett of the Seattle Seahawks. It's Hunter Henry of the LA Chargers. This was Seiko. And when I'm not on the field catching bombs from Russell Wilson. When I'm not on the field catching bombs. When I'm not on the field catching bombs. When I'm not on the field hitting bombs. I'm watching my guys over at Phil Bomb, 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 Phil Bomb breaks off those nasty, 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 Phil Bomb. I know a thing or two about hitting some bombs, fellas, but there's nothing quite like hitting a filth bomb with my guys over at Filth Bomb Breaks. Filth 